So I did a lot about frame rate consistency. If you have a nice consistent frame rate packet, you can really move this number up. Uh, this is a crossfire, so it was really good shape. And even at 25, I could probably went to 30, 35. What feed forward boost will do is as soon as you start to move the sticks, it will really boost feed forward quick right out of the gate, which you generally need uh, to follow your rates because the expo of your rates, especially with actual rates and sensitivity of 10, like I recommended, that means if you do do a sharp uh, move, that your rates have so much expo in them that it doesn't really kick feed forward a lot. So you kind of need to, if you're moving the sticks fast, you need to boost it to kind of actually follow the rates that you have in there. So if you have a lot of expo, you typically need a lot more feed forward boost. So when you do move the sticks fast, it boosts it right away. And obviously when you're moving the sticks nice and slow and you want that mushy in there, having that feed forward boost is not a bad thing because you're, you know, feed forward only really kicks in with fast movements. Slow movements, it doesn't really kick in much at all. And what I'm looking for with the proper balance with feed forward is kind of something like this, where I'm just right on, you know, my gyro signal is right on my sticks the entire way through. So that means, you know, the feel I'm getting is completely depend is my rates. So if I really at that point want to adjust the feel, I just go and adjust the rates so that my, I don't have this laggy component that's my, the feel I'm getting is kind of my rates, but it's my rates with lag. This is the gyros following the sticks. So the quads kind of optimized for peak performance there. And then the feel is just completely dependent on your rates at that point. Okay, well that is it. Hopefully you found that helpful. 
Again, always thank you for your continued support, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.